Hello everyone, May Flom here and excited to be here with you today with the brand new Wilted Violet. So this is one of the 2015 Distress Inks and it just released in all of the color formats. I have a couple of them here. And I'm really excited about this one. I wasn't so sure when it first came out because purple is a complicated color, okay? Purple, at first glance, you think purple is purple. It, to me, it's the most complicated color to get right. Now, up here at the top, there is Victorian Velvet, which, you know, it's kind of, I am including it in this one. I know it's on the pinker scale, but let's include it. Shaded Lilac, which really, to me, is a blue. Um, I understand it's kind of purplish, but to me, this always fits in better with the blues. It never plays nice with the other purples. The interesting thing to me here is Seedless Preserves has been my go-to purple for absolutely everything. And what's interesting to me on this one is when I pull, I mean, it really shows how this color is such Seedless Preserves. When we pull in, here's the Dusty Concord, which... You know, it's never actually never been a, a huge favorite because it's more on the blue-gray side of purple, which is not a side of purple I usually use. And I'm really surprised here because when I pulled in Wilted Violet and swiped it across, first of all, how like wine preserves color, seedless preserves really is, uh, it really startled me. And secondly, it's really pretty vibrant, which really I didn't expect it to, to love it as much as I'm loving it which makes me even more excited for this color. So down at the bottom, you might notice these two pinks. This is Picked Raspberries. This is not an official Distress Ink color. This is a May Flom Distress color known as May's Jam. To make May's Jam, you mix Seedless preserved Preserves and Picked Raspberry, and I have a video on that that I will link up to there on YouTube in case you want to check out how to make your own color. So I still really love May's Jam. It's one. It's still my favorite. But this Wilted Violet, it's really interesting to me to see those other colors of Distress now that this one's out. So let's play with it real quick. I have a number eight Manila tag here, and I stamped using the Fairy Tale Frenzy set. That's the set I've got out right now. I stamped a sentiment on there. Let's jump right in and play first off. So what I love about all distress, and if you've watched my videos, you already know this about me and my love affair with distress, is that with one color, you can get so much variation. There is so much you can do with a single color of distress. And what I am going to do right now is really focus in where this white embossing is and really focus in on getting a very deep, rich color down there. And then we'll blend out. Another thing that I am going to do is I've got this butterfly here and I'm going to ink it up and I'm going to stamp it a couple times so that it's kind of flying around on my tag here. And all I have to do is take this paper towel that I'm playing on and wipe it off and any distress ink that happens to be on the top will wipe right off. Now, what colors is this gonna play nice with? I actually do not think that it's going to play nice with other purples. I do think it'll play nice with Maze Jam. I also think it'll play nice with Picked Raspberries. Um, shockingly, it might play okay with the Shaded Lilac, but I'm not so sure. So I think it's going to play really, really nice with all the blues and greens, most especially. And I'm going to focus on Peacock Feathers, Cracked Pistachio, and maybe a little Mowed Lawn. I'm not so sure on that one yet. So I'm going to start with Cracked Pistachio and blend a little color in here. I love green and purple. It's one of my favorite ways to use purple is with those beautiful greens. Although pink and purple, this is really going to become the purple to use with the pinks like picked raspberry it really really is it's a really beautiful true grapey type of purple i'm still hoping for kind of an orchid color out of the distress line but you know you never know we'll see we'll see what happens we'll see if we ever get that okay so there's some cracked pistachio and now i'm going to add in some peacock feathers and i am going to go ahead and just use the same blending tool since i'm going a little bolder a little darker that should work out just fine. And you can see, and this is something I love, you see how when I direct direct inked the Wilted Violet over the blended 
violet even though it's the same ink pad it shows up and that's one of my favorite things about working with distress is how beautifully you can blend and look at how beautiful this is when I add in a little peacock feathers over that wilted violet it just goes kind of a beautiful bluish hue absolutely love that and now let's take the spray stain I'm not gonna spray it I'm gonna do my May trick that I do where I flick it on there now with that drying I'm gonna take this bigger stamp here from this set and I am gonna ink it up I'm gonna ink it up with a couple colors we're gonna use some of our wilted violet I will put a little here and a little here I'm also gonna use peacock feathers I love the minis for this kind of stamp coloring because you can really, really do a lot of cool stuff here. And then I am going to go ahead with, you know what? No, we're going to go blueprint sketch. I'm going to go a little bit of blueprint sketch since it's out and I think it's another one. When I'm playing with these color combinations and everything, I really am not going to worry about, let's spray this with a little water. I'm not going to worry about if it's the perfect uh, color combination or anything like that. No way. I'm going to play with it and see what happens, see what I like, see what turns up. Oh, look how beautiful that is. And I'm going to just actually just hit it with just a tiny bit of water and do kind of an upside down up in this corner here. And it looks like I've got a little more, just to get a little more, just even a little more color. Oh, I just love those colors. Aren't those just beautiful colors? Hmm. All right, guys, so that's my first look at Wilted Violet, and now I've got a tag base that I can play with, add mixed media stuff to if I want to. I'm not so sure what I want to do with that at this point, so I'm going to go ahead and end our video and our first look here. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment. I'll see you next time.